paper. Man. Thanks, Internet. Thanks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. We're going to try. Oh, I feel like I'm crooked. Like, I'm totally crooked. No? Is that just me? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Real life moments. Okay. All right. So, I don't know if the truck went through. I don't know if the truck went through. So, I'm going to show you again. All right. Here is the galvanized. I know. It said I froze and then my screen went blank. So, hello, Lavender Flower. I'm so glad you're new to my channel. Welcome. I know. I do a whole lot of crazy. So, if you're into that and a little crafting along the way. I know. I don't know what happened. It, it had a moment. My phone had a moment. So, I found this galvanized truck and then this galvanized truck. Oh, you did see the trucks. Oh, they're so cute. I'm so excited to like craft with those. So I did buy a couple of those and the other galvanized, other galvanized is like this little pie pan and this, the little hashtag. And I love it. Love the, I love lives too. They're so much fun. Like they're, they're probably like my favorite because <laughs> I just like talk to you guys and have fun and show you stuff. And then the happy, wait a minute. What are you saying? Wait a minute. What? I bought these on Monday. You weren't, you weren't shopping with me, Lisa. Monday. You want the bottle cap? I'll give you the bottle cap. Cause I have no idea. I just bought it. The, I just literally bought it. And, oh, I know my Dollar Tree ears. Everybody loved them. So I decided to wear them, um, to wear them again tonight. And here is another galvanized one. So, I, oh, it's so adorable. Now, one of my friends, Amber, she, like, took this off, and she created the little, like, beaded garland, and I thought it was so cute, um, but I just, I love that. I thought that was, like, awesome. Okay, some more homey stuff. Now, Lisa said this, like, this has been around, but I've never seen this. I love it. I, I don't even want to do any, I might do something like around it, but I think it's so like pretty and simple just like as it is. Like I'm kind of like that. If I don't have to do anything, let's go with it. Okay. So I know these are brand new. Okay, I'm just going to open it because I really want to see it. Okay. So it has two sides. So you could do something on this side and this side, or you could leave one side and redo those. I know you need to post your picture of what you created with these. Everyone check out. I'll have to put Lisa's, um, Lisa Christopher, her Instagram. She did some amazing vinyl, um, with these. Oh, that one just popped right out. All right. Well, to answer your questions, yes, they come out. <laughs> so it's like the little square frame and then it has the tile. Like this is, this feels like it's the tile. Like, you know, those coasters. Oh, it breaks easily. Well, girl, I almost threw it out of the thing. Um, but this would definitely, you would need to, you're on the hunt. For, we just found them yesterday. And we went to like two different stores to find them. So this one says, trust your purpose. Um, faith over fear. Now this one is my favorite. Um, like I just want to, yeah, they, see, if you just push it, it comes right out. And then this one love blooms here oh it's so pretty and then the last one is so it's so cute but it's not my style it's totally the farmhouse the blessed it's so cute it's kind of like a wood grain i don't know if you guys can see the wood grain but it's super pretty so there was four of them um we have i can't hold all four i i know you are that person do you do you I know this one's like random. Okay. So I love the Dollar Tree magnets. They make me, they make me smile. This one is be as strong as your espresso. I know I did. I only picked up four, but this magnet's so cute. Um, but like, oh, come on. Oh, I'm so, I'm, I'm, yeah, I know. <laughs> I just thought that was so cute. So I did pick up that and there's a couple more little, um, bloom with grace. I love these little canvases and they look so cute when you like layer them, but I thought this one, 
look so cute in the bathroom. I know, isn't that magnet amazing? I love it. I always buy the coffee ones and I just, I think they're, <laughs> they just crack me up. And I haven't seen these since Christmas. So I did buy another one and this is literally the only triangle piece I found. Um, another, let's see, I don't remember if she did a video or she did an Instagram. She made a, a bracelet or jewelry holder and I need to make another one. So I was gonna try to recreate that with the triangle piece, which I loved. And then I got two squatty houses. I don't, I just, I love them. I don't have any more of them and I've done several projects with them, but I just, I love them. I just think they're so great. So I grabbed one of those. Also just random, I needed some more. We got the fix all, cause fix all is, you have to go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow. I'm so low in supplies. Yeah, like I'm not low in supplies, but I I get kind of like, I don't know, I have problems. Okay, I get, let's, we'll jump into the Easter stuff. Ah, I bought these baskets for my kids Easter. So my two boys, and then look at how cute the girl one. So I'm gonna do a Cricut, like their name. Um, I don't think my middle son's name will actually fit on that. So I'm going to probably have to do his like somewhere else on the thing, but I'm going to use my iron press, um, and do all three of these for my kids for their Easter baskets. Like we don't do like a lot of candy. We do like little things for them. So, um, I just, I liked the size of these. Um, and they're real like, look at that. Like it, folds up perfectly. Oh, you know what? I might even do it on the handle. Maybe their name's on the handle. I don't know. Only, let's see, only my first child has a short name. I don't know why we did that. Poor kids. Um, so for my daughter's Easter basket, um, it's so cute. It's one of these. Hold on. Okay. It's not going to light up, but it's the little bouncy balls. She's obsessed with balls. I got those last year. See, I love them. They're so adorable. I didn't see a purple one. And then I'm going to put some little cute bracelets because she's a little, she's my little diva and she's obsessed with all things Minnie Mouse. So I got her this Minnie Mouse and then this Minnie Mouse. So if you can't tell, that's her favorite. That's what I'm doing her birthday party in. So I just kind of like do like little things in their baskets and um, we will probably, uh, we like to do like a breakfast in the morning. So Easter morning, I might do um, some sort of breakfasty thing, and then they'll have their Easter baskets, and then we'll go to church. So we got we got stuff we're gonna do. Oh yes, okay. So I'm most excited about these. Have you seen these before? They are the little Easter bunny ball shooters. Lisa told me about these. They're so so cute. So these are gonna go in my boys' baskets um, because they're boys, and they're gonna love shooting each other with little bunny balls. So that's gonna go in there. And I like to not just buy stuff in like the Easter section, but this is like the summer backyard things. And you created a monster, I you have. It's, it was already there. But for my boys, I love bugs, it's great. And we're actually doing bugs in my older son's homeschooling. So I'm gonna shove those in the boys. And I do tend to buy my, my two boys the exact same thing because it's just easier, they won't fight, and I don't have to deal with the madness of them. I want what he has. Kind of whole dilemma. So I did the blue camo for my oldest, and what we do, how we do our Easter egg hunt as a family, um, they each get their own color, and that's the egg that they have to find. And it just makes it, I have three two boys and one girl. My daughter is one. Um, she'll be two in a few months. So I'm still planning birthday parties and kind of things, but it makes it easier when they know what color they have to search for. So blue for my oldest and I got these little white bunny ones and I thought they were adorable. I've never seen that before. So I got the little bunny ears for my four year old and then I got these little pink bunnies and oh my goodness how adorable like I don't I don't even know how to oh yeah I just did that it's okay okay so these are the ones that open to the side 
I actually prefer these than the ones that are like split um, in the middle because I feel like this is easier for me to get a whole piece of candy in. Um, but I thought those were so cute. Yes, my little our princess, she is totally, she owns that. That is, she is our little diva child and she knows it. She gets spoiled by her brothers and her daddy and she just goes along with it. And it's so funny because that's not me. I'm not like the girly diva as she is. But my mom always says I was super dramatic, but I'm still dramatic, so it kind of works. No, no. Oh, can you see it? It's so cute. So this is the Easter mats. Um, I had a really, really, really hard time figuring out if I wanted to buy this one or they had a little green one, and I posted it on my Instagram, both of those little mats. I like to layer the Dollar Tree mats. Um, I either do the rug ones underneath and then I'll place that on top or I buy the little carpet squares that they have in like the pet section and I'll buy like two of those and then I layer it. Um, and it just makes it so much easier. It makes them like more durable. So I kind of like that. I finally, finally found the little egg or eggs. <laughs> The, what are these? Hold on. Why don't you, carrots. Thank you, carrots. I finally found the carrots. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. And I don't know if these are new or not. But I thought they were adorable. They're like little, I know the mat is so adorable. I think it's fun. But I wanted to do kind of like a couple of things outside on our front porch. So I wanted to do like a little DIY with that and these like springy carrots. Yeah, that's what, that's, yeah. And then I did buy another one of these. I don't know why, I just did. <laughs> I feel like they've had these for years now. This isn't just like a new thing. This has been every year, the little egg and they're fun, they're so cute. And then I finally found the bunnies. I had not seen the metal carrots, I only found them at one store and it was a couple nights ago when I found this. I know, I do not need more espresso, it's so bad. I've had two this morning. <laughs> so the little buddies, it's it's bad. Now, let's see, I have a couple of, I only bought a few of the Easter signs. Um, so I got the, I actually, I love the bunny. <laughs> so I bought this for the bunny and it says the happy Easter. Um, and then the little eggs, but I thought that was cute. I liked the square, so I did grab that one. And then I only found one of these. So that's like the little cutting board. Um, and it's really pretty. I feel like all you need is like a bow and a stand, and this is like good to go. It's so, so cute. And then I grabbed a blue one. Now this one just says the happy, and then the Easter. And then, oh, okay, never mind. They both say it. They're the exact same, just different colors. You can see they're kind of, this one's whiter, and then this one's a little bit darker. I love, love the little cutting boards. I think they're so cute. Like, they're, they're starting to, like, step it up. Now, these are, like, now I'm getting into, like, random gifts for my kid. Okay, so my four-year-old, we're doing, um, we're doing a space birthday party. So, so these are the Dollar Tree stickers. And I'm going to make cupcake toppers um, with these for his cupcakes. And there, let's see, there's 14 pieces in this one and then 10 pieces. So it should be fine for when I make a, I'm kind of, how much my recipe makes? I think it does make like 20 something cupcakes. I don't know. But I thought those were cute for his birthday. And then I really want to make, we had this idea. I've seen those little Lego tables. Um, and I just found these bigger ones at Dollar Tree. And these are so expensive. Hey, Lini, how you feeling this morning? You struggling? You need some espresso like I had. I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> so I had never seen these big, and it says it is um, the base plate. It fits all brands. That's what it says. And I don't. Ha I actually don't have any Legos in here. That's oh, wait. Nope, that's not a Lego. Normally there's Legos all over the floor. Um, but I want to do like a Lego table for him because he is my obsessed Lego, Lego robotics. Um, he does the summer camps and all those things with Legos. 
And so I really think he would just, this will be the perfect, um, girl, it's not morning, it's afternoon, huh? <laughs> you had a busy night. So I went to do a Lego table for him for his birthday, which is in a few months, but I will, let's see. I know Lego tables are so expensive and if you can make it for a whole lot cheaper, psh, you know, I am doing that. Okay. Let's, I feel like just random. I have never seen, I feel like I've seen this brand at Target. SGX NYC Salon Graphics. This one is finishing spray. So I bought two of the finishing, oh wait, no. I don't even know what I bought. Okay, this one is the finishing spray. So is that hairspray? Is that what finishing spray is? Yes, I gotta get that table from you. Hold on. It is hairspray. Okay, hairspray. All right, and then I bought protective texture spray. Um, I thought like this would be good for when you put it, when you straighten your hair, because it said it had a heat thermal defense. Yeah, you guys, I don't do my hair. I don't know these things. And then I bought the mousse. So I'm excited to try these out. I thought these would be really good. Um, and then another like hair, it's called, I know you told me what, how to say it. Desange, Desange. I'm not saying that right. But this one is a shampoo too. So some really good quality um, hair products. And this was at another um, Dollar Tree. I'd never, I'd only shopped there a couple times. And then I love this, the little wonder drops, the John Frieda stuff. It's like my favorite. Okay, and then I love these. I use these all the time. Um, but when I am redoing furniture, this is what I use um, to dust and clean them. Um, they're the clean light. Uh, cleaning cloths, wet or dry, eco-friendly technology. Uh, they're great. I love them. So I bought them back those. Okay, so I wanted to try these, but I ran out of time last night. <laughs> I had to buy the cheap kind to get the glue so I could try these. <laughs> So, um, this brand is called Ioni, Ioni, um, Natural Light Wispy 3D Faux Mink Lashes. I don't know. Have you guys bought these at Dollar Tree? I don't know. I wanted to try them. They're a dollar. I mean, I'll practice with the chinkies and then, you know, maybe when we go out for our anniversary, I'm going to attempt it. <laughs> My husband's like, what's on your eye? <laughs> what's growing? It'll be bad. <laughs> so I got, I got those. I thought that would be a lot of fun. Um, and I finally found these. I was so excited. I know I've seen a lot of people haul them already, but the hard candy, um, this is the setting spray mist primer. And then this one is the long wear primer. Now I only use like primer, like on, <laughs> on my forehead and like my cheeks and stuff. And this one is a hydrating one and I have dry skin. So I thought that would work amazing. So I'm gonna try that. And then this is also for my hair too. I forgot about this one. The tea tree oil. I love this on my scalp because I do have really dry skin and dry scalp. So I've got to wash the dye out of my hair. What did you do? What did you dye your hair? I need to, I'm gonna, I need to see this. I'm gonna need to see this. And then I got this really pretty and I kind of bought it because I liked the metal tin. I tend to do that. I'll buy something just so I can, you know, repurpose what it comes in and then an eyebrow pencil. I don't know if that's just me, but I do that. Okay. And I finally found the blue bins. I was so excited. So I grabbed three of those. I grabbed the last of them and then I grabbed all of these. <laughs> these are the square ones I want to use in my daughter's room. So how many, I grabbed like five of those and they're so pretty. It's like this pale pink. It's the spring line. Um, they have like a coral color, but I have the lighter colors in my daughter's room. So that's kind of like why I bought those. I bought the baskets to hold like my flowers in. That's kind of like what I'm thinking. I want to do like a wall hanging system. I'm kind of hoping that helps me organize. I'm trying, I'm trying. So that's the goal on those. And then I found three of the baskets. 
So the gray one, the light pink one, and the blue one. Those are my favorite colors. So those are all of the baskets I could find. I could not find any other baskets. So I was a little, see that's what flew the other day, foam. So I found these organizers. These are the clear ones. I wanna use them in my refrigerator. Um, I'm kind of hoping I can organize like my kids like snacks. Um, that's kind of the goal is I can organize their snacks and juice boxes and things like that with these on a couple of different shelves. And they're the clear ones. Now on the picture, it only has like pins and stuff, but I think the cheese sticks and like the yogurts and hello, Patty Fish. How are you this fine afternoon? I'm hot. I'm, I can't even speak. I'm hyped, hyped, awake, awakened. Yeah, I've had, I have had my two espressos and they were lovely. I had my vanilla. I didn't, I normally drink chais in the morning, my chai tea, but you know, I wanted something different. So that's, that's what I went with. You know, <laughs> that's a little bit crazy. Okay, so I found more of these flowers. So I kind of wanted to show you. It's called the Simple Style Mini Bouquet. And these are the ones that I did my big wreath with. And it's like the most like gorgeous, elegant wreath that I barely had to do anything. I just bought the flowers and I stuck them in the... I think it, we just looked at it, bamboo grapevine kind of wreath. And they're just so pretty. They're really full. They're really soft. Um, and they're just so gorgeous. Um, I have only found them in these two colors, but I have been told, I've been told on Instagram that they do come in like a red color. So that would be so pretty, but I have not found them except for these two colors. So I thought they were so pretty. And then this one is the greenery. No, it says, let's see, it just mini bouquet. It does not say what, mm, mm -mm, I don't know. I didn't get those, I think. And then this one is just says greenery bouquet too. It's this like several kind of wispy. Um, I've just seen so many because you can pull apart like all of the different things and group them in smaller or bigger chunks like you want. So I picked up two of those. And I probably, I don't know why, I should have probably picked up more, but they're just so pretty. I, I love those wispy ones. And I found these wild flowers. Now this is what I did, let's see. Ugh, it's over here. Oh, I'm gonna pull something. Oh, okay. This is my when I was a, uh, I don't remember why we made these fairy ones. Anyways, I made this headband with those little wildflowers. Um, so I bought another one because I used the one that I had for <laughs> my headband. Um, and they're so pretty. Like, I love, love, love them. And I had never seen this one before. This is, why do I try to say these names? I'm just going to show you. Exactly. And it's kind of like a greenish white. Like they're so pretty, but I always, I love doing and like separating them into like the greenery and then the flowers and like using them for multiple projects. So I grabbed one of those and it's like the same with these. Those are the, like the real like flowy ones and you can separate all of the different greenery pieces. See, I always murder any of the names of the flowers. I cannot pronounce the names of the flowers. I don't know why. <laughs> And see this one, it just says wildflowers. And this is the pink one. So this is the exact same cut or exact same flower as what I have on my headbands, but in the really pale, pretty pink. And I just thought, I know the greenery is gorgeous. Like I love, love, love it. I mean, it's definitely, um, it still has like that plastic look, but I think it's improving. Like it's definitely better than just the ones like this. Um, see how this is just the leaves. It's definitely better, but I love these lilies. These have like a little bit of green in them and the sparkle. So I'm going to put these on my mantle, my lilies, lily of the sea. Now I kind of want to see, I bought, 
it's a little bright, but it can be toned down. Yeah, like with some paint, you could totally tone those down. Oh, Lainey, did you see these? Dull it down with some paint. I found those yesterday. Aren't they so pretty? Yep, I thought of Fanny as soon as I, I bought them um, because they're the ones with the twine already done for me. How, how convenient is that? They're so nice. Oh, I do have this one that I did not show. I gotta grab it. Uh, temporarily hold, please. Okay. So these are the thistle and greenery. Okay. So I only bought this color. It's like the bluish purple one, um, but they had them in several colors. Um, several colors. It came in. Okay, I have nowhere to put that. Okay, you darn thistle. Um, it came in a orange, a yellow, a green, that bluish purple, and. I feel like they had a pink or a red one too. Like it was definitely, they had a lot of them and it was really, they were so cute. Like I just, I love, love them. Yes. Is there anything else that like you missed? Like Lini, I know, did I show you? I feel like you missed like the whole first half. I don't even know what I showed in the very first half. What did I show in the first half? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you've seen everything. I've like always texted you. Um, we have like the glass kind of things. I think this one's my favorite one that I bought, this random magnet. Because I love magnets and I use them in all sorts of projects. But I thought this one was different because it's, it's not like those hard ones that like are the tile. It's not this tile kind. It's like a piece of the little wood and then it's a fabric covering. So I thought that was kind of fun. So I don't know, I wanted to make a project out of that. Okay, I'll just show these again. Okay, so we have the blessed and then the faith. This one's my favorite, love blooms here. And then trust your purpose. And they're so cute. And you could pop that out. Um, I have been said, be careful, they do break easily. So you just got to be careful with this tile piece. Um, the blessed signs. This one. We just found them. They literally told us they were putting them out. Like we had just gotten there in the morning-ish time. And they were putting them out. So if you know when your Dollar Tree gets their trucks in or what time they put them out. Um, that would definitely help so that you know kind of um, when. Yeah. I mean, I the Battlefield one, I know um, a couple of the employees. I've gotten to know them. And then there's another one I go out to in, it's in Chesapeake Square Mall area. So it's about 30 minutes from my house. And I... <laughs> I know the manager there and if I call and ask if she's working, she normally tells me when she's got no truck or um, anything like that. So I love, um, I love that when it's very organized and they actually have a lot of the die cuts and different stuff like that. So I'm kind of excited. Um, I, I love that one. And yeah, let's see. 15 different stores. <laughs> okay. Now this is three different stores though. I went to two in Virginia beach and then I went one in Chesapeake, which is where I live. Within, I am, okay, I'll let y'all know. Within my, within my city, there's, in Chesapeake, there's probably 10, maybe more Dollar Trees in Chesapeake. And then we live in Virginia Beach is like, like five minutes from my house. <laughs> and in Virginia Beach, there's probably like 20 or 30. I mean, there's a lot. Within my area, if I traveled within a 30 minute distance, I probably have 50 plus Dollar Trees. And I know, I know that makes y'all very sad for me to tell you that. But we do, we have a lot of Dollar Trees here. But this is the headquarters. It's not the headquarters for um, shipments. Um, we do have several shipment like warehouses in the area. We have one out in Suffolk and one in North Carolina. Um, but we are, we are, we have so many, but there's like 
yeah. Now, the normally like the little rinky-dink ones, I find items that I've never found like anywhere else. It's always like, but it's random. There's never like, they don't have like the crafting stuff. They won't have um, like the real detailed stuff. Like, yeah, I could probably get like Easter eggs and, you know, maybe a random something else. But that's normally the spot like I'll find the bins at or uh, <laughs> just like something that I wasn't expecting to find there that I'll find it like those smaller stores. Um, I know I did a, I did a, a shopping live at the large store that we have in my area. That was a couple weeks ago, actually. Oh, I forgot to show you these. I know you can see my messy craft room because it's not organized yet. Um, so I found three of these and I'm excited about those. They had them in black and white, but the white one, the one white, white one they had was the mirror was broken. Um, and I tried, <laughs> I tried to buy just the frame. Cause you know, if you, if you see something damaged in a Dollar Tree, if the manager's on duty, um, they can give you a discount. Um, but I guess the manager wasn't there to do the code for the discount. So I didn't buy that one way. <laughs> um, but I always ask, like if I see something that is broken or something is wrong with it, um, just asking, you can get a discount. I actually, my, do you guys remember my green truck that I painted for the fall? That was one of my Easter signs. I, I think I paid a quarter for it because they hung the happy Easter upside down. Um, alive at JNF. Now I've actually never been to the Dollar Tree at JNF. That's in Norfolk. That's another city. Um, I need to go there. Everyone keeps telling me I need to go to the JNF store. So I'll have to do like an Instagram live and take you guys on that. And I am planning, I am planning a 5,000 giveaway. Once I hit the 5,000 subscribers, I've kind of got like a bin of stuff that I'm putting together. Um, like I'll probably, some of like the galvanized pieces I'll put in there. Um, you know, maybe some of these guys. Um, so if you have like specific things that you want me to like start gathering for my 5,000 giveaway, like I think that would be a lot of fun. And, and maybe it'll be like on my birthday again. I did a giveaway last year on my birthday, um, which is in the summertime, but but yeah, that's, that's all I got to show y'all. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Ask me questions. I'm not, I'm not very, I'm pretty open. I feel like a lot of you guys, uh, are just like my friends and y'all have gotten to know me, um, over, I don't even know how long, however long I've been doing this. Um, I, yeah, I love, I love doing the giveaways. They're so much fun. I did, um, I'm trying to remember I did, um, a live painting night where I painted, um, my, one of my trucks and then I gave it to, um, one of my older subscribers that have, has literally been like with, with me for a really long time. So I did, I did that. So I'm going to go try a live at four. Okay. So are you doing on your YouTube channel or, um, Instagram? I have so much crap. No, Lisa, you have some amazing, wonderful, non-crappiness. <laughs> she showed me some pictures of her graph room and it's, I'm like, I'm, I'm mad hella jealous. Like there were some like awesome stuff. Now I am, we just redid, um, our kids situations. So I do have another room again. Um, but it's just a hot mess. Like I have this one little corner that I have like my little backdrop. Um, but everything else, it's, it's crazy. It's so junky right now. I have bins and bins and stuff that we were throwing everything in when I was moving into the craft room. So it's just kind of, yeah, it's a, it's a hot mess. It really is. But I am going to be showing you guys, um, I'm going to make a craft table, um, and how I cut that down and do it. Um, so I am really excited about that. I have two shelves um, and I'm going to be repainting them and showing you how to, um, paint cheap MDF, um, shelves and make your own craft table if you don't have one. And I'm excited about that one, but yeah, I know. I'm trying to think what other I have. 
I have Liz. We have our um, Craft Your Stash. That one is coming next Thursday. Or this, like, today is Sunday, so on Thursday, I've got our... I'm not... Okay, I'm not going to use any of this stuff, okay? I'm going to be, like, good. And I'm just going to do a regular, like, my normal home decor um, thing, and I just have no idea what I'm making. You're not using it? I, I Any kind of wood. You know me. I love... I, you're just like me. Free wood, that is, like, the bomb. Like, when you can get something free, yes. I know. Any... <laughs> I'm just rambling. I feel like I'm just talking to a camera, even though like <laughs> I'm talking to you guys. It's so weird. Like when you're just talking to a camera and you don't actually see anybody, um, you're just like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> you have a new tabletop. Like, is it just, um, the wood? You need to send me pictures. Just like, just, just I know you're shooting me pictures of all the, um, the things that you found at JNF and made me like, made me jealous jealous of all your goodness I know uh <laughs> but I am I am excited I'm gonna be recording when I make the lego table um so I know you don't live far from me so I'll have to like get my husband's truck um and and get it from you so I've got that project coming up the lego project I've got my furniture flip with domestic diva um that one is let's see um when is that one Flipping furniture is, I think it's March. It's March. It's the first Friday of March. So Domestic Diva is doing that with me. Um, and she loves flipping furniture too. So I think that one's fun. You sent the link for the table. Did you see? Girl, I don't even know. I don't even know what you sent me. I know. And I didn't find any Star Trek socks. I'm so sad. Like, I'll take your cup. I know. She's got some amazing stuff. I, I did it on my um, story. She sent me, or she gave me some vinyl scraps and um, these like wood round signs from the Target dollar spot. I don't know if you guys have seen those. They are amazing. Um, so I'm going to be doing like a couple of little, I want to do a birthday, a round sign for my daughter. Um, but I'm not good with like Minnie Mouse. Like I got to think of like what rhymes with Minnie Mouse. Like so that's what I'm saying. I don't, I can't think of a catchy because it, it'll be her second birthday. So I've got to think of Minnie Mouse and, and two. Like, look who's two. I don't know. What? I need to go on Pinterest. I need to start with my kids' party decorations. And I don't think I've ever recorded any of my decorating, um, how I make my kids' party stuff. So I don't know. I've never done one of those videos. Um, oh, no transportation. That's, I'm sorry. Like, is, is the Dollar Tree open and you just can't get there? We, um, when my, my, my car just got fixed and my husband's truck was broken down, we had to get a new truck because it was so much money to fix the old truck. So we just got a new truck and it was just like a pain situation. Yeah. It's no fun. Like having to like hop and haul, like all three of your kids and school and taking your husband to work. Like it was, it was not fun. Oh my goodness. So Lainey, how, how was the bonfire last night? Did you have, did you guys have fun? Just the granny car? I don't think your car is a granny car. Your car looks just like my car. Like we have, we both had burgundy cars. <laughs> I love mine. I have a Buick and it has the third row seating. And it is amazing. I don't even know what it's called. The Buick Enclave? I think that's Enclave. No. Yeah, the Buick Enclave. I'm telling you, it's the best best car ever. Um, it's it's great for my three kids. Um, yeah. Well, what will... I still don't think you have a granny car. A granny car? Okay. My grandmother had a Buick. And my grandfather had... Um, Oh gosh, what was it? A Mercury. He had a Mercury and it was like one of those tank cars. Like it was massive, like a boat. And I just remember he had the velvet seats and, um, and then my grandmother had the leather seats and, um, like they had like, they had the cool old people cars. Like <laughs> that was, so like when I think of granny cars and the grandpa and the grandparents, those are the cars I think of. 
So that's, I think, why my husband jokes me with my car because I have a Buick just like my, my grandpa did. But yeah, it, <laughs> it was funny just when we were definitely thinking it. Um, <laughs> I'm so glad. I haven't watched it. Um, I haven't watched the uh, replay of our live from last night. It should be it should be funny. We always like when we're together. It's like we have been friends forever, and we're just like hanging out. So <laughs> it's you're drinking water now. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I got I got my. I'm always sparkling, but I got my sparkling. Yeah. See, I'm the back hoe to the. Oh my goodness. You guys need to check out this video. Like. Our live from NAS last night was hilarious. It, it was amazing. I know. It was so much fun. And I did not realize how long it was until I saw and I was like, oh my gosh. Guys, how do I do this? I don't have confidence in me. Um, Y'all are great. I even commented. I'm so glad. Because <laughs> sometimes like, do I just stick this on my eye? I'm going to figure these little caterpillars out. See, I'm so glad you thought it was funny, Fanny, because, like, I don't know. I am. I know I just ramble. Uh, <laughs> you're going to make me merch. You're so funny. <laughs> like, I, I do. I need a coffee cup that says that. Um, like, I made this one. Um, actually, I think I made this sign before I started my channel. Um, I have an insane mug collection. Um do not use Gorilla Glue. You know what? Lisa said that last night. She was like, don't use Gorilla Glue. Like, <laughs> I feel so bad for that 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 woman. That That's just not smart. That's not good. Um, I bought the... Um, okay, so I bought the cheaper... Because <laughs> I never wear um, false eyelashes. Um, and these are like... They look like plastic. Okay, so... Here's the plastic ones. <laughs> so these are going to be my practice ones, but I bought it because they didn't have glue. So I don't know. I keep hearing about these magnetic eyelashes and that kind of, kind of freaks me out a little bit that like magnets on your eyes. I mean, I get, I know it's not a real magnet. I know you did try to get me the purple ones. I should. I'm thinking like those would be cute for Halloween. Like, you know, this says coconut infused. I'm a little bit confused. I gotta, I got I wanna try, I like, I wish you guys were here with me that like, when I try these things. Okay. That actually smells pretty good. All right, all right. So this one is, I, I'm kind of like, I'm excited about this one. I've enjoyed all of my hard candy. I used to buy hard candy like back in the 2000s. And I don't, <laughs> when I was like in high school. So, or like college, like it was, a, it was a hot minute. My makeup, I, well, thank you. My makeup is not good tonight. Uh, this is the after, uh, just go into uh, church and just not, yeah. I, I probably look like a hot mess, but you know. I almost blinded myself. Oh my goodness. See, that makes me so nervous. I don't know. I'm not. I I do enjoy. I enjoy watching makeup tutorials. Um, I cannot. Uh, I'm I yeah. I used to do like um I used to dance. Um I was in a company and for performances, yes, we had to do certain makeup for different things and looks. Um so it's just been a really long time since I've put on false eyelashes. And I think the last time I did it was because my sister couldn't do my makeup. Um, and that's actually when I started doing my makeup was when my sister, um, I was struggling last night to put my contacts in. And I, as soon as like I got done with the live show last night, I was like, I got to take these things out. Like I am so sensitive when it comes to my contacts and I can't wear them for very long. I do want to get LASIK. I feel like someone else was telling me, um, oh, this one actually has a thingy, um, telling me about LASIK. And I don't know. It still makes me kind of nervous. Oh. Oh, that feels nice. 
Ooh, I'm excited about this one. Long wear primer. So my hand's gonna be primed. Yeah, no, but I love doing my makeup. Um, I love makeup tutorials. I love testing out different things. I used to be a lot more um, exciting with my makeup when I was younger and before kids. I used to do some really crazy. <laughs> I should do a throwback of some of my makeup looks on my Instagram because they're pretty funny. <laughs> like I used to do like leopard print or I do like a thing on my face. Um, and then like, I love Halloween makeup. Um, see, I don't do a lot of perfumes. I rarely do perfumes. So that's why I was kind of nervous about this one that said coconut infused, but it's not very strong. Like any kind of strong smells give me like an instant migraine. So I don't, if I can get the fragrance free, I buy fragrance free everything. It drives my husband crazy um, <laughs> because I don't, I can't do any kind of fragrances. Um, cause he says he, he smells boring or dull or, you know, he smells like, and I'm like, what? You smell clean. That's good. We're good. <laughs> I know I'm just rambling now. So anything, anything else you wanted to see or you didn't see or, um, cause I kind of have some sections. I have Easter, I have kids. Um, yeah, it might be coconut water baskets, organizing, floral, glassware, craftiness. I know. I think that's it. Um, I, I need to take a nap. I feel like I need a nap guys. I don't think I'll actually take a nap. I'll probably work in my craft room because that's what I need to do. I need to organize. I bought organizing bins. I'm going to be organized. We'll see about that. <laughs> so yes, that's it. That's all I've got for you guys. I know. I hope you guys enjoyed this and then you can rewatch the playback of all of my random goodies. Um, we have to get Fanny some vases. I know these, I literally, I should have bought more because I'm always so nervous to like, um, to ship like glass. Like even when, um, we sit Kiki's box, like I was so nervous about some of the stuff like breaking. I didn't want to send her any glass because of that. Um, mascara, eyeliner, and BB cream. No, I love eyeshadows. I love, um, uh, eyeliner and I love makeup and foundation and contouring and I do. And I love lipstick. I love bright colors. Um, yeah, I love it all. I do. I do love, I love makeup and I feel like I'm not as good as I used to be. I, I'm out of practice. Like it's, it's about practice. Makeup is like the more you practice, the better you get at it. Um, and, and yeah, I love it though. I'm, I, I don't think I'll ever do like any kind of like <laughs> fancy. I might do on my Instagram, uh, like how I do like a makeup. I don't think I could do it. Like, look at me do this. I'd be making those faces and it, it would just be really bad. <laughs> yes. Bright lipstick is, and bright eyeshadow is like me. That is, I am, if you had to think of, of me, it's curly hair and, and bright makeup and, and, and dweeby shirts. Like this one is my Star Wars shirts. Like, but I don't do it. <laughs> There's no right or wrong. It's all about have been fun. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, see, I I do wear like uh foundation or at least yeah, BB cream um pretty much daily, but I don't always do my eye makeup. And I definitely have a lot more makeup now because I keep buying it and I'm not wearing it as often. <laughs> so that's kind of uh yeah, I'm definitely not I'm not wearing it as much, I know. I know. And now I'm just, I'm rambling. Okay. So what was your favorites? I think my favorite is my, my rug, my truck rug, this one. And I think my second favorite are the glasses. That's all I wear. That's all I wear is liquid eyeliner. Um, but I'm also, I'm blind. So um, when I do my makeup, my mirror is like right here. Um, <laughs> I know you like the tiles. You bought like a bajillion of these tiles. <laughs> I'm so glad we found them though. I know that was um, how I organized. Okay, so yeah, I, I've thought about doing that um, because now that I have a space and a dedicated space, 
Um, I would love to do an organizing because it's like real organizing. It's not like uh, a professional, like, hey, my bins don't match. Uh, hey, this is a shoe box. Um, yeah, like it would be real life organizing, not making it. Your oh my goodness. My <laughs> you did not buy 20 of these tiles, did you? Girl, I see. I don't remember you buying that. Okay, I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm going to spend some time with my husband now. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes, we did. I love it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'll post some pictures on my Instagram of all of my stuff. And now I'm like, I'm dying. I'm laughing. We had so much fun, though. Yeah, so. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Check out um, my video from last night with Crafty Lini and the after show that was always fun my after show on instagram that's just what i'm gonna call it i'm gonna call it the uh or what did we call it uh, crafters at after dark or crafters at dark <laughs> i love it it was so much fun i have so much fun rambling and just having fun with you guys and that's all that matters to me so i hope you guys have an awesome rest of the sunday and uh have some fun crafting and i'm gonna get some crafts on and organizing and try to do some some good good stuff so i love you guys thank you i don't have anything profound to say other than love you all and i will see you guys later